Aquarius. Thank you for joining me today. My name is Serafina Safi, and I present Enchanted Mirror Tarot. We're going to be doing your July 1st through the 15th a tarot reading. I hope that you'll consider subscribing to my channel. I do offer bi-monthly tarot readings. So what's going on with Aquarius July 1st through the 15th? One card for the central theme. Okay, so I have, you're not thinking about things. The thinking man reversed. You're not thinking about things that you should be thinking about. And that's the central theme. So what is on Aquarius's mind? What is on Aquarius's mind? Hold on. This is, I don't like this. So what is on Aquarius's mind? Three cards for what's on Aquarius's mind, please. Three cards for what's on Aquarius's mind, please. So I have the Empress, which could be a Virgo. I was it could be a Taurus, Virgo, or Libra. Those are the because it's ruled by Venus, but it's Earth. Um, so I would see it as either a Virgo, a Taurus, or a Libra. And then I have um, Pisces with the hanged man upright. So two major life events side by side. And then I have the Queen of Pentacles. So you could actually be thinking about about two two different people here. Um, so the first we have the Empress, and the Empress is a mother, a domestic goddess. She's creative. She's the right path. She's abundant. She's love. She's pregnancy. So you could be thinking about a pregnancy or a marriage. She's a marriage. Uh, she's birth. She's pampering. She's a time of safety. This is me time. So you could be thinking about a time for yourself or just thinking about yourself, a, a period of growth. She's an incubation period. Like she's, she's pregnant. So she, she incubates. Um, you incubate for nine months. A pregnancy that's another word for pregnancy incubation so she's an incubation period she's stability uh, she's a plan an idea she's a good relationship and then we have the hanged man so this is Pisces this is the card of Pisces and the hanged man is surrendering sacrifice putting your life on hold so you could be thinking about marriage and a child and how it's going to put your life on hold. Um, no matter what you do, it just doesn't work out. Surrendering to a situation, letting it go. This is meditation. This is a card for meditation. This is a card for gaining a different perspective. This is seeing things in a different light. This is feeling victimized, feeling punished. Um, this is doing a good deed, volunteering, going within, using your intuition, uh, not struggling, developing yourself. And then I have the Queen of Pentacles. So who is the Queen of Pentacles? All court cards are character cards. So this is talking about a person, or it could just be an idea. Uh, it could either be a person or an idea. So the queen influences the king. She nurtures ideas. She's mature. She's deeply self-aware. She's a caretaker. This is either Virgo or it's Capricorn, one or the two. Uh, she's prosperity. She's success. She's wealth. She's um, material security. She's ambition. She's goals. Um, she's somebody that you can count on. She's practical, grounded, dependable. She doesn't take risks. Um, she's materialistic. She's responsible. Sorry, responsible, reliable. She's someone you can count on. It doesn't have to be a she. A queen can be a he or a she. There, this is gender neutral. But I always, you know, queen. I think woman. So it's just a habit. But this could be a man or a woman. Um, slow and steady, logical stubborn, bullheaded, routine, habits, perfectionism, 
supportive, caring, great cook, good housekeeper, money's coming in, um, again, financial security, being able to provide for your family, spending more time at home, growing your family, being a mother, being a father, being down to earth, excelling in your relationship, supporting. So you're, on your mind, it's actually very uh, harmonious. It's very harmonious. So you're, you're thinking about the future. You're thinking about something stable, something practical, something emotional, um, something secure. Financial security, relationship security. Building memories. So what's going on in Aquarius' is family life, family and home life? Three cards for it, okay? So I have the uh, Ten of Swords, so there's Betrayal. Okay, what else? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hold on, hold on, hold on. The moon reversed. There's a manipulation and deception. And it could be around the cancer. Uh, I have the chariot reversed. Okay, so your home life's not very good. Point blank period. Um, we have the Ten of Swords. So the Ten of Swords will be Gemini energy. This is a complete mental breakdown, being backstabbed. There's a crisis. There's severe conflict. There's abuse. It could be physical abuse, um, gossip. You feel like you hit rock bottom. There's burnout here. The moon reverses. This is the card of either Cancer or Pisces. This is nightmares, imagination running wild, fear of setting on a new journey, not using your intuition, buried memories. So it could be from your childhood, this abuse because it's coming up in the past position, so this could be from your childhood or before, and you buried it, you're, hot, you're living in a fantasy world. Um, there's an absence here, um, buried memories, addictions, this could be addiction, addictions to alcohol, drugs, or just toxic relationships could be addiction. And then we have the chariot reversed. And this is a loss of control, lack of self-discipline, loss of direction. There's emotional outbursts here, um, car problems, wearing a mask to hide how you truly feel, overreacting, feeling overwhelmed. Things are just stuck in a rut with this card. And we have double cancer energy. It could be Pisces, because the moon could be Pisces or Cancer. It's right underneath the hanged man. So it could be Pisces or Cancer, either way, because it's right next to Cancer. It could be both. It could be a Cancer and a Pisces, or somebody with like a Cancer Sun and a Pisces Moon, or a Pisces Sun and a Cancer Moon. Or if you have that as your emotions, that's how you feel emotionally. So what's going on in Aquarius's romantic and social life? Three here. One, two, three. Okay, so we have the Hermit reversed, the Nine of Swords, and reversed, and the Fool upright. So the Hermit is a Virgo, and I always see the Empress as a Virgo, so we could be talking about a Virgo. The Queen of Pentacles can also be a Virgo, so we can definitely be talking about a Virgo here. Uh, so the Hermit, when it reverses, um, it is a time to socialize. You've learned your lesson, um, because in, in the upright, this is a time for re reflection. This is a time to socialize. You need to get out in public. You, you, you may feel terribly lonely. You may be, feel like you're being left out or left in the cold by family and friends. Uh, you're avoiding problems here, but you need to socialize. 
And then I have the Nine of Swords in the reverse. So this is not sweating the small stuff, gaining perspective. You did have severe anxiety. You did have sleepless nights. You did have nightmares. You, especially with the moon reverse, there's definitely nightmares here. Um, not sleeping good at night. But you're not sweating that. You're getting a new perspective. And again, with uh, the hanged man, it's confirming that you're gaining new perspective. Because they both mean the same thing, getting new perspective and not sweating it anymore. And then this is the card of Aries. It's the whole. It could be anybody. It's the inception of the new soul. There's a major arcana and there's a minor arcana. The major arcana is made up of 22 cards. It begins with the full. The minor arcana is just like a regular playing deck. It starts with ace, ends with a king, and um, there's the, the suit of swords, pentacles, um, Typically, typically. I have a deck that doesn't have any of that. Uh, swords, pentacles, um, wands, and cups, which represent zodiac signs. So the fool is the, the a zero. So the fool is the new soul who wants to make the fool's journey. It's brand new. It's childlike. It's childlike wonder. Um, it's innocent. It's a, it's a rebirth, a, a new beginning. Um, Aries begins the zodiac, so that's why the Fool is associated with Aries specifically. But this can actually represent you starting a new journey, um, or anybody. It could be any zodiac sign, but I typically see it as an Aries. Um, because Aries starts the zodiac, Pisces finishes the zodiac, and the Fool starts the new journey. Um, so this is new beginnings, a rebirth. Um, travel, pursuing a dream, finding yourself, being carefree, foolish, there's freedom here, adventure. This could be your inner child. This could be talking about your inner child, innocence, childlike wonder. There's a leap of faith, surprise. Um, you're able to do whatever you want. This is, this is, this is an idea that's still up in the air. Like you thought about it, but you haven't been able to manifest it yet. Or it could be an air. All right, three cards of advice. All right, I have the seven of swords in the reverse, the ten of wands in the upright, and the six of wands in the upright. So the Seven of Swords in the reverse is being challenges, breaking habits. This is your energy. This is Aquarius. This is a time of faith, reflection, assessment, um, everything in perfect order. This could be spying. Um, you could be spying on someone else or they could be spying on you. There's definitely spying here. We have the Ten of Wands. This is being burdened. This is a card of completions. This is fire energy. This would be Sagittarius energy. This is commitments, responsibilities. It feels like an uphill climb, but the finish line is in sight. Um, you feel like you've taken on too much. You feel like you're carrying other people's problems. Uh, this is learning to say no. This is delegating tasks. Uh, you're physically tired, you need to rest, and you're carrying the full responsibility of the relationship, the friendship here. Um, so you need to learn to say no and delegate. And not take on too much. And then I have the Six of Wands, and he's looking, he's marching into the future. This is success, this is victory, you're the winner. There's strong leadership skills here. There's determination. There's receiving awards, being recognized. You should be proud of yourself. So be proud of yourself. Self-confidence. Um, this is just good news altogether. Right, three cards for Aquarius's money, please. Three cards for Aquarius's money. I have the Seven of Cups reversed, 
the two of swords reversed. And the two of wands reversed. Okay. Everything came up in the reverse. Now my deck, I don't shuffle like normal. What I do is right before the reading, I throw it against the wall, let it go everywhere. I put two decks together, then I gather it all up. Then I throw it against the wall, gather it up. I do it three times. And then I go like this, like this, to mix it up even more. So some are upright, some are reversed, some are, some are this way, some are that way. They're, they're all over the place. And there's two decks put together. So whenever they all come in reverse, it means that they all were meant to come in reverse. It's not that I have it upside down. It's because it's meant to be that way. Because they're so mixed up. So we have a double two. So there's choices here. There's definitely choices here. We have the seven of cups. So that's faith, reflection. We have seven here too. The seven of swords. Two completions. We have two completions, two choices, and two a period of reflection. Well, we have the hermit too. That's a period of reflection as well. So you need to meditate. You need to reflect. You have choices that you need to make in order to gain a completion of a cycle, ending a cycle. All right, so I have the seven of cups in the reverse. So this is temptation. This, financially, you're being tempted. I have the two of swords in the reverse. There's confusion about your finances. See, there's too much coming in about your finances. There's too many choices with your finances. And then I have the two of wands in the reverse. There's a fear of the unknown. There's a lack of planning in terms of your finances. I don't see it being bad. I don't see it being good either. It's just you feel overwhelmed. In terms of your finances, there's just too much and you feel overwhelmed. There's a feeling of being overwhelmed. And you're afraid. <laughs> you don't want to make the wrong choice. So you're hesitant in with investments and what to do with your money. I don't see it being bad. I don't see it being good. I just see it being more of like this emotional this emotional thing, um, emotion, a lot of change in terms of your finances, and I see it being ruled by the emotions. Um, this cancer energy is coming back. Uh, I just noticed this. So like I said, I have two decks put together here. And you could be spending a lot of money on traveling. So I have the moon, and it was right above, and look, there's a moon in the two of swords. So that, that moon is all about emotions, and that's how it was sitting here. And then I have the chariot and the two of wands, and both of these are about travel. Spending too much money on vacation. Okay, and uh, what's going on in Aquarius's career? What's going on in Aquarius's career? Ugh, I hate whenever it gives me so many. Okay, so the first thing that I have is the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. So this is a, um, this is financial loss. This is feeling lonely. I have the Seven of Cups in the reverse. So that came out before, I have it twice, uh, because I have two different decks. So that's putting added emphasis on the Seven of Cups. Uh, so the Seven of Cups in the reverse is temptation. Um, there's diversionary tactics. It's Scorpio energy. So there's a lot of like vindictive behavior here in your career. There's a lot of, it's very intense. It's all or nothing type. It's it's kind of there's a lot of jealousy and possessiveness. I have strength in the upright. That's a major arcana card. So this is inner strength. You have the inner strength that you need to get over 
this financial loss in terms of your career and over this jealousy and petty behavior in terms of your career. So you have the inner strength. See, she has this lion, but she's not controlling it by force. She's controlling it by by caring, by nurturing, by inner strength. She's she's that powerful. She has purity in her motives. Uh, she has control over her desires, control over passion, control over jealousy. She controls through love and reason. She believes in herself. She has courage. Um, she's the tough times that brings people closer. She weathers the storm. And she does it with her lover. This is either self-love. I always see that as temperance. Uh, just this specific deck. The other lover, it doesn't look anything like that. Um, so this specific deck, it looks like temperance, which is the light at the end of the tunnel, the calm after the storm. But this is the lovers. This is the card of Gemini. This is self-love. This is a romantic love. This is the magic of falling in love. This is um, any relationship. And then strength reverses. Uh, so we have strength again, and this is Leo energy. Yeah, and the dog looks like a lion here. There's a lion, a lion, and a lion. So there could be a Leo here. Who is Leo? Leo is I will. Leo is loving, loyal, faithful, self-approval, self-worth, self-confident, warm, affectionate, generous, dignified, honorable, honest, direct, commanding, authority, a teacher. Leo could be a teacher. He's arrogant, egotistical, vain, conceited, snobbish, creative, dramatic, talented, artistic, fun-loving, playful, boisterous, likable, naive, cheerful, childlike, which marries back to uh, the fool. Um, organized, courageous, determined, proud, a show-off, entertaining, energetic, theatrical, a theatrical performance, joyful, warm, strength in the reverse would be showing fear. So don't show fear. There's a loss of control here. Feeling overwhelmed depression, despair, hopelessness, lack of courage, secrets revealed, the cat's out of the bag, overinflated ego, trying to control by force. What is a lion? A lion is the king of the jungle. A lion doesn't do any of the work. He commands the lionesses to do. He's the manager. So lion is the manager. And we have two lions in reverse. Bad management. I'm saying poor management here. But you have what it takes, but I'm seeing poor management. This is very emotional. There's a lot of emotions here. It's more about family and emotions than it is about money, your career. Your career is more about family and emotions than about money. And the management is poor management. It has the potential to reverse this to the Ten of Cups if the management would, would improve. And the Ten of Cups in the upright is financial bliss. It is um, long-term financial security, permanent success, extreme wealth. The best of everything. All right, Aquarius, thank you so much for joining me today for your reading. I hope that you consider subscribing to my channel. I do offer bi-monthly tarot readings. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day.